I could throw Mog anytime. Well, like right now, I can do it. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, I fudged. I fudged it up. I fudged it up. Well, snap. Lesson learned. Sometimes. Oh, Jesus. Wait, whoa, 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 what happened? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, what happened here? Well, okay, lesson learned. Wow. Okay, there's a right time when you should throw Mog, and there's a wrong time when you throw Mog, and I learned the hard way when you do not throw Mog. All right. Lesson learned. <laughs> Luckily, autosave. Uh, Dick Saved was here when I um, was playing Final Fantasy VIII. And I assumed that the PC version of Final Fantasy VIII had a autosave feature. And it did not. And, uh... That was a uh, that was fun to see me constantly lose up to two hours of hard work over and over again. I think one time I rage quit because I lost a really important card in a triple triad match, which in hindsight it's triple triad, so it's totally inconsequential. So it wasn't that big of a deal. So I rage quit and I realized I forgot to save. I had to literally make up, like, what was it, like, two hours of hard work and progress because I couldn't be a man and own my mistake in playing the dumb card game. It was a bad time. I had a bad time. Whoa, what happened? Dog, whoa. What is going on here? All right, all right. So. Okay, so, something's going on here. Okay, so first mistake. I have over a thousand CP points. That was a mistake. I should use those points. Second mistake. I'm still over relying on auto, auto battle. I really need to pick my own attacks. Now well, let's get him his sentinel ability. Yeah. And yeah, let's just make a hard press for Commando. We don't need Null, Null to be a Ravenger when there will be more characters who can provide that better and with a better based magic stat. Okay, Sarah. Okay, looking at her Ravenger, she is stacked. However, she could also use some better options on Commando. So that's exactly what we're going to do. They're Fire Flans? Hmm. So maybe we can go back to uh, Chocolina and get some equipment that protects us against fire. Which is not a bad idea. In fact, my general strategy whenever I play an RPG is to have 
items or accessories that protect you against all of the elements. Yep, here we go. So let's buy... We can only buy one. Um, is there anything we can sell? I guess we don't need these iron bangles, but it's not going to be enough. That's only going to take us to 700, and I believe these are how much? There are 1,000, so we could... Okay. Okay, let's think about this. Um, do we need two star pendants? Kind of, because we will eventually go up against poison enemies, and we probably want to be stacked there. <laughs> Um, is there anything else I can sell? Okay, this is uh, the other thing I could be looking at, as I could be looking at... I could be looking at selling some of these components, but I kind of don't want to. Oh, I could, here's what I could do. I could sell my old equipment. Yeah, I don't need this. I don't need any of this. Yeah, let's sell the old equipment. Let's sell the two iron bangles that we don't need. Or... Do we already have a potonic, a component crystal that's a level five? I don't know what any of this means. I, I I'm gonna keep it. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it. Let's just sell these bangles. There we go. We only see. We only need to sell one. Then we buy the Ember Ring. <laughs> we equip both of them with the Ember Ring. And we should be better off. Okay. Wait, he can't use it? Wait, what? Maximum accessory capacity exceeded. Why can't he? Why can't he? He can't. He can't use the ring. The ring that I just sold all my money for. Can't use it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So this is a blind playthrough. Let's talk about what that means. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I did a bad thing. So this is what we call a blind playthrough where the player doesn't know what they're doing. Damn it. All right. Um, yeah, mistakes were made. So she's going to get the HP. Actually, no. She should get the magic resist. Okay. And you should get the HP. Oh, God. I have made mistakes. Hey, we all make mistakes. What? What? Did you sense something? Is there something here? Oh, shit. Okay. Now, let's not make this mistake again and immediately go to have a medic on tap. Okay, and they're already killing the medic. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why they're doing so much damage to me like that's the thing I don't know why
Like, I don't know... Am I just under-leveled? Like, I, I, I feel like I've, I've run away from a few combat sequences, but I don't feel like I've ran away from a ton. Not to such a degree to where I feel like I should already be, like, constantly worrying about damage and stuff like this. I mean, if I'm playing the game wrong, feel free to tell me. Damn it. Yeah, I should probably... That's the next thing I'll do. Wow. This went from just slop through to now I need to actually... Now I actually need to plan out and do things and actually put in the effort to learn mechanics. Okay, this was really sloppy on my part, but it looks like we've turned the corner. We're gonna go just full on, just fight fire with fire and destroy. Oof. Holy shiz. Okay. So. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like the alarm went off, and I do believe I owe you some horned melon right now. No, wait, it says 434. So for some reason, the alarm didn't go off. I guess I forgot to hit the OK button to confirm that. So before we figure out what I'm doing wrong, actually, let's see. Whoa, where did you go? You went all the way over there? Why? Okay, let's get some horn melon out. So with horn melon, Gino's only hint to me, because he told me not to look up what is inside the horn melon, the only hint he gave me was to put a bowl underneath the horn melon before I tried to open it. So I'm, oh my god. I literally stuck a knife through this and just a bunch of green goo just literally poured out of this thing. That's distressing. Okay. So let's open it open. Let's crack it open. Oh my god, it's green. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like what it looks like. There's no smell either. There's like literally no smell, but it's green. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. I, it looks like an alien. It looks like I've literally dissected an alien. Um, give me a minute. I think I need to get a spoon or something.
All right, I got a spoon. I'm gonna just stick a spoon in and try and get a spoonful of this stuff. I got like six or seven seeds in the spoon. Okay. So I've got like, I've got like, I don't know how to eat this thing. So I just stuck a spoon in it. And then I, I pulled out like six seeds. Let's try and get some more. Okay, I've got like, Eight seeds now. I, I, this is the first time I think a fruit has literally made me afraid. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, that is not good. No, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. You know, when you bite into... Well, you're allergic to save into bananas. Um, like a mushy part of a banana. But it tastes like... It tastes... It has the texture of snot. But it tastes like... Kind of like banana mixed with pineapple flavor. Not a fan. It literally, the, the texture is snot. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. Um, wow. That was not good. Like, I'm biting it. Like, the, the, the flesh part. I mean, it doesn't... No. Mm -mm. No, thank you. That's a big N-O. But he... here's what I'll say. I do this for the kids. I do this for the kids. I'm willing to do anything for the kids. If it means raising money for Pencils of Promise, which is a wonderful cherry. I'll do anything for the kids. So if you do a $5 donation and you say, Horned Melon, I will take another spoonful full of seeds and I'll eat it. I'll eat another bite. Oh. Man, I might eat some of that ice cream from the earlier portion of the stream. Because that 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 is not a good... It's not the flavor. But man, oh man, is the texture wrong. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um, so we're gonna go to Crystarium and check out our, uh, Kate Sith guy, because he's our only healing option right now. Like, I would like for that not to be the case, but that's where we are right now. So, it's kind of sucky. Um, unfortunately... 
Gino said that was the last easy one. Because next... Fudge! I'm not excited about this. Um, I have to eat a spoonful of silken tofu. No flavor, just the tofu. And then after that, it's the raw radish. But unfortunately, actually, yeah. All right. It is a late bloomer, so if it's not panning out, that is part of the reason why it's not as good as I'd like. Um, what we could do is we could feed... Um, okay, so that those are some pretty good... So we might want to... So I want to keep him. I want to keep him. I'd be okay with getting rid of him, but he doesn't have anything. Not worth it. Doesn't have anything. Not worth it. Hmm. We're in an unusual position. We're having a hard time with the game, yet it's not very clear as to what is causing us to have this hard time. Wait, we're... The game is saying there's some way for me to get over there. Oh, I see. Is it this? Is this the thing that I jump on to get up? No, 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 no. No, run away, run away. Zephyr Ring. I seem to recall that being a fairly decent item when I played 13. And that's also too heavy. Uh, but it's a wind. Okay, sure. It's wind resistance. Okay. That could be useful. I'm not happy about that camera angle right here. Alright, um... So this is where they were all trying to get to. Now we'll see what all the fuss was about. Let's break up the party and get our artifact. There we go. But first... Ember Ring. God dang it! We got a free Ember Ring. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, God. Talk about demoralizing. do with myself. I'm learning the hard way with a lot of these mechanics, you know? Making the wrong mistake more than once. But, uh, you gotta learn somehow, right? 
These, if you're wondering why these are going, this is going a little easier. These are mini flans. It's when we get to the medium grade flans when I start to have some trouble. I'm going to save that Feral Link for later. Alright, there we go. Let's get rid of this. Other than we went a maybe less than efficient route in terms of killing the enemies here, this went fairly well. Oh, you are such a jackass. Okay. Now, I was originally going to make this a donation incentive, but... I was figuring... You know, what's something that I did last time that was fairly successful? I believe I called fam members of my family and had them say, thank you, Giant Bomb. But I think I might want to hold off on that. Back then, on Cocoon, that was really unusual. Hmm. We have things in common. I'll make sure to introduce them to you. One of these days. Hmm. I'm just eating bread because I just need to get something out of my mouth because that that um good lord that horn melon was just such a bad texture give me a minute I need to tell chat that not to eat horn melon Yeah, that, that horn melon kicked my butt. It was just the texture. It was just disgusting. I literally had to toast a bagel, and I'm now eating a bagel. Ugh. 
I, I actually like the Chocobo sideburns. I originally called them, I believe, Chocobo Dreadlocks when I first played Final Fantasy XIII. How do we get down? Oh, over here. How are we... Like, I feel like it's not entirely obvious where to go in this game. I do like and appreciate how they put the attention to detail. How do I get out of here? I want to leave. Please, let me leave. I want to be free. The game won't let me be free. What have I done? What have I done to deserve the fate of staying here for the rest of my life? Ugh. Oh, I'm just gonna get off. This is not working. That was a waste of a Geshel Green. How do I get out of here? Wait, didn't I use a vine? Oh, yeah, that's over here. Yep. Yep, now I remember. See, it's stuff like that where it's not clear how to go from one place to the next. And what's even more frustrating, it'll put a trinket in some far off part of the environment and you'll just be looking at it going like, how do I get that? And the game doesn't really tell or communicate all that well how to get items, how to navigate the environment. Ugh. I get that, like, they're color-coding these vines by smearing this blue texture filter. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I find a little bit on the frustrating side to, um... Need to go to a, a location or environment and not know how to get there. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. start to make mistakes when they stress out too much if you know what i mean yeah maybe you're right <laughs> okay let's do this you want to try be my guest what do you mean for every road there's a different gate if you try to use a gate that's meant for someone else well <laughs> see does this mean Snow can't come with us? Yep. He stays. Uh, guess I drew the short straw. And don't you do anything foolish behind our backs. Like, trying to take on giant Flan single-handed. Huh? Yeah, you behave yourself or else. You got it? I'm serious, Snow. I'll be good. <laughs> so Snow is stuck here. And back to business. I love it. Wait, why does he have his tattoo? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No! Why are we... Why are we going forward? Why aren't we going backward? No, I don't want to go forward. I want to go backwards. Um... So, Dick David, you said that I could go backwards in time and, like, unlock a different... So I can go back here, right? So first off, let's save. And first off, let's save. Yeah, I'm definitely not ready to do this, like, abandoned Coliseum that's halfway in the map. Not ready for that. So I, I can go to this environment, pick up a, open up a different gate play around, do some story stuff, and then maybe level up, and then kind of come back to this one here, because I don't 
I'm not confident at all. But when you say there's only one that I've unlocked, can I go to these gates and open them is what I'm asking. Or is this some sort of weird Banjo-Kazooie thing where I need to get, like, the puzzle pieces? Okay, let's do this. Let's go back. It doesn't matter. Um... Let's go back, let's try and find a different portal, and let's try and figure out what to do next. Not digging how long it takes to load. Enlist the Moogle's help. So this was the first one we did. Let's open up the map and let's see where we can go. Okay, so... That's still blocked off. That's the gate we used. It says enlist the Moogle's help. What does that even mean? Whatever. I do not have enough Gashel Greens. I want to have one always in the pocket. For... Ah, I don't... Really? Okay, fine. Yep. Ooh, jeez. There we go. So I think I'm gonna move it to where Tri Disaster is on default. Because so far that's been helping us out in our um, situation here. So let's go ahead and make this the default. Set it up on top just in case. Is there any way that I can make the mini-map a little bit bigger? Out of curiosity? Nope, that's the wrong. Because I hate having to go... to this every single time. Yeah, this is way easier than what I had before. Because now, look, we, we, we're just blowing through these random encounters now. Little risky because there is the uh, potential of us losing our combo. But so far, that hasn't been an issue. He's the guy that wants... Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Seeth, seeth, seeth. So that's the gate I think we didn't use right here, right? Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this.
Do you know what I would think would have been a better concept is if, um, rather than have, like, these new characters, if, like, Lightning or someone that we were familiar with from Final Fantasy XIII, like, all these portals started opening up, and people from Final Fantasy XIII that we know and love have been pulled into these portals, and we need to go find them. And we need to go recruit them, or we need to save them from these portals. Like, that, I, that to me feels like the direction this game should have gone from, at least from the perspective of, like, the narrative. Like, you can even put, like, oh, Saz is on the far left corner of the timeline, but it's not necessary you save Saz. And then put um, Vanille and all these other characters over there. Make some characters, like, storyline necessary, and other characters not storyline necessary, and maybe throw in some new characters here and there. But the direction I think they should have gone is to very much make it, like, you need to, this timeline, this whole timeline thing results in you saving the lives of former members of your party from the previous game. Like, the idea of, like, going back to the past and uncovering it, or using the past to save the present, or using the past to save the future, it's so interesting conceptually that I wish that it was more of a focal point in, in the actual uncovering of the characters, and their arcs, and their experiences, and... It just feels kind of like a wasted opportunity that it's just kind of... Okay, so use the chocobo. So let's grab him. Let's throw him. Like, I feel there are ways to make this way more holding cell key. I just feel like there are ways to make this navigating the world, navigating the environment, like, a part of the actual story and the storytelling. Because so far, we have a series of pretty interesting vignettes, some, you know, kind of fun little nostalgic moments that sometimes relate into the characters and sometimes they don't. Yep, that was us. I wish I had more data regarding Atlas. And what I really would like is if there was a kind of balance between new characters and old characters. Although Atlas has been deactivated, monsters still appear left and right. My duty is to protect the Academy at all costs. It's a soldier's duty to protect civilians. But five years ago, I was... But, you know, to each their own. To each their own. I say all this as, you know, an amateur blogger, an amateur streamer. I, I, make no, I make no qualms about the fact that I am not a video game designer. I'm not even a professional writer. I have my own weaknesses and areas of improvement. I'm not an expert at these things, but... I do want to say, yeah, let's let's check this out. Let's see where this takes us. Yes, yes, it worked. Kofu. Sarah, you okay? Kofu. It's nothing. Dude, she's clearly not tired. Hmm. Right. Somehow I kind of doubt it's nothing. Uh, 
Okay. All right, so we are now in 10 AF. So it starts out in three. So now we're going seven years into the future. Okay, let's do this. Society continues to develop. Machines once run by the Falci are now powered by human technology. Driving the progress is the Academy. Who's that guy? Is that Hope? Did Hope become a man? Under its young leader, the Academy is working to solve the paradoxes that warp the oh, snap. space time. At the heart of the distortions is the Yasha's Massif. Its skies. I think that's that has to be Hope, right? Is he less intolerable? Is he like a, a decent person that doesn't make me want to gouge my eyes out? People always say okay, good to hear that hope is no longer the worst. They believe the hardships of the the Deep Listens podcast worst character of the year last year. And so we hope. I doubt he would win character of the year, but I mean, to go from the worst to not the worst would be pretty cool. You have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to reach the here and now will give you the courage you need. Ancient times, the Fal Sea devoured the light, darkness cloaked the sky, and the earth knew only night. This must be the eclipse. Do you know what this is? They said 500 years ago, a massive Fal Sea appeared. For a while, it blotted out the sun and turned everything dark. If that happened 500 years in your past, then this must be 200 years in my future. Or maybe it's just dark time. Something's wrong. The eclipse is only affecting this small area. That shouldn't be possible. Or you guys could be wrong. So you're saying this could be a paradox. That's what I'm saying. Huh. It's really weird that the game implies that these two are developing a relationship because so much of the game is of 13 is Snow trying to prove his unfathomable love for Okay, oops, I should have listened. Hello, are you here to observe the facility? I can answer any questions you might have. Ah, yeah, perfect. I do have some questions. Where are we? And what year is it? Wait, you can't just I, uh, What? I'm just mm, Yasha's Massif 10 AF, sir. 10 AF? So we were near 200 years. I must say, this is the first time anyone asked me what year it was. I don't suppose you happen to be time travelers? Oh, well, Kova? Ah, yes, I almost forgot. I'm supposed to hand out this map. Take it, it's free. Yeah, you see any... Speaking of time travelers, are you used to seeing time travelers? Just a question, asking for a friend. Telling what kind of monsters the paradox has let loose in here. You said the paradox. Are you talking about the eclipse? Yes, the great Falci bended, blocked out the sun. It was predicted he would appear 200 years from now. Which means? Which means his appearance now indicates some sort of time distortion, right? Okay, the eclipse is a result of Fenrir's premature appearance. What could be happening in the ruins? Uh, the appearance of time gates or the falsy wanted to meet you. Let's go with falsy wanted to meet you. The falsy arrived 200 years early to meet with a certain someone. Yes, sir. That someone is you. Hmm. So this entity... Across the boundaries of time and space, just to meet with me? 
I suppose I can't discount the possibility. Yeah, uh, please discount it and find a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. That line of di- Oh, God, that was so good. That was awesome. Man, I really need to go out and find the bad answers if that's what I've not been... If that's what I've been missing in this game, then we need to find more Noel sarcastic asshole quip. Because that is my new spirit animal. <laughs> oh god, that was so good. Nothing down here. We didn't experience eclipses on Cocoon. Well, you were also under the you uh, always you were always under the watch of a unfathomably cruel totalitarian state, so I I mean pick your poison. Oof, oof, the diversity. Get some healing up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. This game really is uh, a bit exhausting, though, both mentally and physically. Not really physically, but it is it is a lot to take in. Ooh, hey, we got the spirit crystal. It, it's just, there's so much this game has just, maybe, I would even argue, maybe this game has even more of a proper noun problem than Final Fantasy XIII, because now we have to add in all this paradox garbage with the same proper nouns from Final Fantasy XIII. Um, so, yeah, this is... The sun's disappearance, there's no need for panic. It's our job as scientists to figure out what's behind this mystery. So can you also find a cure for cancer and global warming? I don't care if things are bad. I'd rather be on cocoon. Well, too bad. It's an ice planet right now. It's light. Okay. Oof. Not good. I need healing. What game is that from? I need healing. Yep. I'm starting to realize why I was not the biggest fan of 
13, which is until you get all of those cool abilities and those, like, paradigm abilities and you really can master the art of juggling and you get more people, you get the full contingent of your party, this game mechanically is slow. But also, this 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 game poses a couple of problems, at least for me, because I don't know how I cover this game. I mean, it was hard enough to talk about like Final Fantasy X-2, because I didn't want to go through the effort of finding, personally, out of my own way, Final Fantasy X-2's true ending. But with this game, it's like... I don't know how to really strike a balance between covering. So why are the searchlights moving? Oops. I don't think we're ready for behemoths. I thought that was something else. I should not have done that. This is going to be painful. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're not. This is bad. Um, zero. Uh, quit. No. Um, I thought quit would allow me to quit the battle. Oh, this was a bad move on my part. Yikes. I'm just gonna have to die. This was dumb. That was dumb. The game told me to not attack and to use the spotlights to stay away from the enemies, and I decided to attack. Lesson learned, and I believe that's death number three or four. So yeah, let's not worry about any of these items. Let's not worry about the, you know, experience points. Let's just get through this. It's just too early for it. Okay, let's get here. Really not excited about spotlights moving. Right, and go. And somehow Sarah's been able to hold her own against that one behemoth. Chocolina, how did you get end up here? The scientists are so passionate about their work. They're working just as hard as ever, even in the dark. Speaking of passionate, I'm the most passionate person I know when it comes to making a living. And on that note, please peruse my passionately promising